Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 9 of my segmented blind let's play of Fukan no Graseste trial version. Who's gotten himself in over his head? That's right, our hero has. This place is... Uh, okay, I have no idea what or where this place is. We do know one quality it has though, it's dangerous. So, our task is to find our way out. The sooner, the better. Okay, this valley is really messed up, but anyway. But, obeying that, the force of demons starts proceeding onward. So if they overtake me, if they get around me, I'm definitely not surviving. You have got to be joking. You think I'm gonna die here? <laughs> gotta get to the exit. I've got to get out of this inconceivable place. Find some kind of exit. Come on. Oh, finally. Looks like I can't go back. So, let's hurry and find a way out. Okay. Tell you what, I'm gonna save. That seems like a pretty important bunch of stuff we just did. Ah, oh god, more cutscenes. Just let me explore more than 10 steps. So as much as possible, we're trying to be aware of our surroundings. And trying to keep out of the demon's hands. And the path is branching out. Where should I go to get out of here? That demon girl said, go to this town, huh? Probably she was talking about Grosesta. No matter how you consider it, this isn't the valley I was in before. But I don't know where or how it's connected. Uh, just think of a way. But that doesn't mean that all of these branches are connected. There's a high probability we'll go down a dead end. But in the various directions, there's an intuitional thing that's different. It's the... It's the thickness of the, of the fog that it uh, enveloped the valley. Not just the things I see, but wherever I go to set my feet, there's some weight that's different. When I looked at that demon girl, I knew with one glance that I couldn't fight her. It feels kind of the same, this heavy pressure. Now, the nature of this mist, we don't know. But this is something that tells us where the danger is. A hint that tells us 
that lets us sense the danger. The thickness of the fog will reveal where those demons are. It's a special feeling of presence they give off. Okay, if I go where the fog is thickest, I know what'll happen. It's simple to visualize. I'm not prepared for this. I don't have good weaponry. It's impossible. So, this is a battlefield. If I make one wrong decision, I'm dying here. It's that dangerous. So, let's rely on our direct senses and select our path. So, our perceptions are something that will avoid our weapon that will help us avoid death in this battlefield. Alright, I can deal with that. I can't really tell myself. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Well, clearly not. Investigate this. Like, jump into... Hmm. Well, well, well. We've exceeded our limit. Dude, what is this thing I picked up? I kind of sealed healing thing. Hmm. I can equip one of these? What do they do? They do nothing! And I can't improve them either. Which is odd. Well, whatever. Okay, unequip. Oh, I got more attack. That works, and that will bring my... Is there really something that'll happen to me if I take the wrong path? It doesn't even feel like I'm making any kind of significant choices. Alright, Jadal, leap into the mysterious portal. Huh. Hmm. This will increase my physical attack by one. You know what? Let's just use it. Use all of those. Wait, I don't have any others. Now, where's that stash? Breastplate. Now, oh, five physical defense. It's better than what I have now, right? Oh, and I can improve it. Uh, no. Give it to you, Jedal. Let's see, defense and... I want to see if any of these are worth... Not bad, I guess. But, 
I need to empty out my inventory. Did I... Why does it say I have zero of them? I didn't use one. Otherwise, I, if I had, I'd be full on life. Eh, let's not worry about it too much. Healing water again. No, no. Ah, uh, more enemies. Hey, suck you out. How's your medical? Sweetie? Lizardis. I've seen this in previ ga previous games. Anyway. Tired on it. But I think I should use the healing potion if I'm going to actually be fighting stuff down here. No. Oh. Yeah, just a random battle. Okay. I'm full on inventory again. So a bottle of healing. A sealed bottle of healing. Uh -huh. Weird. Still, like, it's got the zero. Oh. This recovers my uh, SP. I still don't know where it shows me. Anyway. Oh, jeez. Enough of this. I don't even care. Just get them out of my inventory. Empty bottle. Weird. Oh, I know. It's in the stash, isn't it? All right, give it to a borrow. Oops. And look at it in his inventory because we're curious. It can be improved. At least it says it can be. But not in any effective way. Okay, when you get to a dead end, maybe jumping into a portal is the good idea. Re so, this warped space that just seems to continue on forever has this bizarre light shining into it. It's like that facility, this light, the facility we saw above the valley. Above the valley of scattered feed. Without a doubt, if we continue on this way, we can arrive at the place we were before. Ah, finally. An exit. Alright. Bye, guys. Bye to this place and bye to that demon girl. <laughs> nice! Oh, just when we were saying goodbye to you at this place and goodbye to you. Ha. Uh, she's kind of cute, though. Oh, what she said. <clears throat> Are you saying goodbye to? Hee hee hee. I found you. So right at the bit.
right into my ear all of a sudden. A voice. It's you. I didn't even notice when she came close. Ah, so much for your vaulted, vaunted um, sensing of monster presences. So, spotting this light, I was thinking to just get out of here. And I got ahead of myself and let her get the drop on me. It's finally caught up with you. You're good at fleeing, but it's over. Ugh, oh, jeez. Looks like I don't have anywhere place to run. With, with her in front of me. My body naturally starts shaking. Maybe it's my ju just my instincts. Without a doubt, this demon girl is definitely outside of anything I've ever met. <laughs> No, you're scared, you're scared. But it can't be helped. To be afraid of me. That reaction is natural. And so the demon girl seems to have noticed something. And takes a serious look in my face. So, she says, you're pretty cool, aren't you? Hmm, rather, rather my type. That's good, isn't it? To be able to come into this territory, I was wondering what kind of person you were. This should be fun. <laughs> She's got this playful kind of smile, but you can still tell she's got this warped uh, insanity in her. It's a very cruel smile. You're having fun. Is my reaction being that interesting for you? Ah, no, no. I just feel like ripping you to shreds. Seeing, tearing your face apart. Don't you just want to do that kind of thing? Uh, truly, I'd like to do something that could cause you to feel pain. Yeah, uh, that's a bit creepy. Well, everything about this is creepy. And with that response, Jedal readies his weapon. She seems just slightly surprised at this. And smiles again. <laughs> Oh, you plan on really fighting. Do you think I'd die without a fight? 
more than I thought. You're kind of looking down on me. Oh, don't praise me so much. It gets me excited. I'm not praising you. Okay. You know, to play with such a cool human, I'm really happy. But you know, if you resist, that's only going to hurt. <laughs> going to make it hurt. So she raises up her hand and delivers some document. No, a map, I think. I feel like I'm totally getting that translation wrong. But nothing's happening. Oh, that's weird. Everybody isn't coming. I see. The effects of the barrier come this far. And the demons can't get this close. And it seems like my power is limited. What an unnecessary thing. But as she's speaking, it seems like her mood is getting worse. Oh, this is so troublesome, but I've got to do it. So then, there's something I've got to do. I'm going to finish you off quickly. Oh, if you die quickly, that would be a big help. So those ash-colored eyes flash with this violent light. Yeah, she's serious now. Sorry, but I don't have any interest in making you happy. I'm going to resist well and plenty. It's probably not a good idea to fight this person. If we fight properly, it's... It, yeah, it'd be a joke. But I can see the exit. Somehow, I've got to get out of this space. So I've got to do this. Got to get through this somehow. You think I'm gonna die here? Oh no, no. So I can't lose here. How should I get my way through? Well, you seem like you have a plan for this. But, can you do something that entertains me? I don't plan on playing with you. Sorry, but I'm punching through. How's your medical? Hmm. A strange presence. Demon clan, and... This is a magic beast, Luar the Luar the Demon. Level 12 and level 25, respectively. Oddly, the level 12 enemy is considerably more dangerous than the level 25. But, um, I guess I'll try and fight. I mean, I don't have any choice, do I? Tired on it. Let's 
し目障りね<笑>静くそ Do you think I really have a chance here? 耐えられるか<笑> Hey, you're trying hard I didn't think you'd be able to survive this long Well, I didn't fly and I'm trying, dropping dead in a place like this You're going to be pulling out of this Ah,、oh, don't say such lonely things. <laughs> yeah, let me have more fun with you. Oh, what? Ah,、uh, great. Okay. Works for me. So, in addition to this pair, it seems I'm feeling the. Presence of those demons that she commands coming up behind me. <laughs> Stop running and play more. Jeez, you are such an unreal whatever you are. So, this battle with the demon girl is neck and neck. And it's gotten to the point where it's clear I'm going to be losing my life. Just taking the regular attacks. Every one hit seems like it's going to be blowing my body away. Desperately trying to dodge and. Perry blows away. I start running in the direction of the exit. Alright, the darkness is getting cutting off. I'm getting out of here. Oh.、Huh. So he does run. Okay, so when I set foot in the valley bottom at the container of cell swords, a manly voice echoes out. Oh, when you say manly. We see her. It, whatever. Well, whatever. She sees it. Hey, everybody. You're ready, aren't you? That's a pretty big fighting force. According to Jadal, I guess. I see one person. Anyway, those shining eyes are glaring in this direction. So, in addition to her armor, there's also the regular soldiers with. Also, good equipment. So, they're running, sliding into things. Alright, everybody, ready your shields. Kill their numbers. So she calls out these orders and they get in a line and strike up their shields in a. those big shields in a line. Like a phalanx? Maybe? And so, following me out of that space, the demons, all those demons, Got to start swarming in and start trying to force their way in. 
命を閉じてもこの場を死守する So, don't let them get above ground. We, the Indigo Hawks, have to stop them if it costs us our lives. Yes, we definitely won't let the monsters by. Bring the fighters and the slave swords to the front. Knock these monsters out. Fulfill your duties. Hey. <laughs> ah, here it is, here it is, here it is. Let's kill all the monsters. Hey. So, some pretty good ones have appeared. Let's earn a bunch. Man, what numbers. But we gotta do it. If we want to survive, we gotta beat them. So we've got a great number of monsters here, and demons obviously, and trying to fight them off, soldiers and slave swords. It's a chaotic spectacle. Well, it's a battle, that's how it works. In an instant, the valley floor is covered in, you know, battlefield stuff. But seeing that the demon girl, for some reason, looks kind of bored by it and starts complaining. Huh, I've been found out. Huh. How thrall. So, she fades out into the mist. And by the impression I got, I rather thought that she was going to participate in the battle, but maybe she decided she couldn't win. Oh, man, somehow I'm saved. And the one who responded to those words is the commander who was screaming out so well earlier. What's this? Rather than going to the, the Port of Black, someone decided to go into the Valley of Scattered Feed, I heard, and it was you. Dolphia. So the knights and the slaves are under her command here, I guess. Delphina, once again, the one who brought us to this country. <laughs> it seems you still don't know how to call, how to properly address me. <laughs> but immediately upon arrival to fall to fall into a demon calamity you have really bad luck demon calamity 強力な魔物の群れがどこからともなく現れ、グラセスタをめがけて進行してくる現象のことを言う。That's what we call that great gathering of monsters that 
appears out of somewhere and attempts to get into infiltrate into Grasesta. We still don't know all the details. We don't understand all the details. But when the demon's pressure gets thick, then they just suddenly start appearing, they say. Yeah. What's her face? I was talking about that. Shoki. I know it's not pressure, but uh, if I were better at Japanese, maybe I could tell you. So, demon pressure. You mean that mist? And somehow I ended up in this strange space. At that time, the mist came up unnaturally. And I got swallowed up in something out of the valley. So that's the demon calamity. Yeah, at least that's what it's called. So, to think you'd end up in such a situation. <laughs> you are hopeless. But you did a good job surviving. Yeah, but I wasn't even fighting, I was just trying to run. I don't even know if it's right to be calling that surviving. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's an effortful assessment but in order to get your way out of a battle that you can't win that's also a necessary skill for a commander しかし、貴様が魔の採用に出くわしたおかげで、その発生を素早く感じてきた。もしそれがなかったら、霊士の籠まで進行されていただろう。But since you brought this out as you did, you made it come a bit faster. Oh, I get it. Because they were looking for the idiot who went up here into the valley, they were able to find the demon calamity before it got too far. If you hadn't done that, then the container of slave swords might have been overrun. Your actions have saved your allies. You can be proud of yourself. Uh, yeah, that's true. And once I return, I'm gonna have to see if they could pay me up for it. It was completely a coincidence. He was just looking for a way out of this kingdom. Uh, who could imagine that that would be connected to this outcome? Alright, enough about you. If you've done this much exploring of the Valley of Scattered Feed, then in the uh, protecting interception place, you can go there and make a report about your exploration. Ha. So, I shouldn't participate in this battle any further. What, there's still a battle going? 
この戦いの対応に貴様は必要ない。You aren't needed to handle this battle. 魔の才能は通常の戦闘よりも命を落とす可能性が高くなる。自ら死にたいというのならば参加を許可するな。The demon calamity is more dangerous than the regular battles, so you're more likely to lose your life. If you yourself want to die, I don't mind giving you permission, though. Uh, I'll refrain. It's true, I'm not really prepared for a real good fight. And if I participate, it's just going to be dangerous. And as recommended, I return to the container of slave swords. Oh, yeah, that's what I signed up for. Crazy chick trying to kill me in a nightmare dimension, bursting back into reality with a horde of evil demons on my ass. Barely getting to safety as the cavalry arrives, then shuffling away to contemplate how I can confront that again. Okay, so Jidal isn't exactly a contemplating kind of guy. I think all he really says is, I need a proper weapon, with regard to any attempt to face her again.